Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This 2003 Ram here, we use it as a shop truck, parts getter. Well, from time to time we leave stuff back here. And with the snow and the winter and just rain, we don't want nothing to get rusted. So I try to look for the most cost effective bed cover or tonneau cover, whatever you want to call it, that I could find. Also the most heavy duty floor mats that I could find. And I came across both at Rough Country. So I'm going to show you that and I'll show you the install and how we put the, the bed cover on. So these are the floor mats here from Rough Country. They fitted. They send you the two for the front. And then also the long one for the back. And they're like, I don't know, rubber or hard plastic. Kind of like the WeatherTech ones. And this is perfect for what we need because you come in here with muddy shoes or snow on your boots. And this will protect the uh, when it drifts and gets all watery. Keep it in one area and then it's easier to clean. Here's the mat for the back. It's one big piece for the whole uh, back seat, which is pretty cool. Get this installed, it's already comes molded. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, got the back one in, looks pretty good. Good job, Rough Country. That looks pretty good. All right, let's do the front. That's a really good fit. For the price, I don't think you can beat this. Well, while I'm here, I should just change out that light bulb to an LED. Here's what came out of there. This is what I'm replacing it with. All right, that's a lot brighter. Now let's move on to the bed. So this is what we're gonna throw on here. The soft trifold truck bed cover from Rough Country. I'm gonna throw this box into the bed and open it up. There's the part number. This is how they send it. This is what's in the box. So no tools required, that's cool. Step one, take it out of the box. Place it at the end of the bed and then unfold it to make sure you got the proper orientation and alignment. Then you unfold it back and then you start putting the uh, attachments. So we're going to do that real quick and then take the next step. So as per the instructions, this is what you do. You just lay it on top, square it, then when you're done, you carefully unfold it back to the first fold and then then you just start tightening it we could skip this because we don't have the cargo rails 
And I guess that's it. It's pretty simple to do. It gives you instructions on if you're going to drive with it open, how to tie it down so that it doesn't flop around with the wind. So, not bad. So this is what it's going to look like when it's done. We're going to unfold it and then start securing it to the bed. So now that we have it positioned right where we want it, we unfolded it. We're going to climb in there. I'm going to take my flashlight so I can see what I'm doing and start. Installing these clamps and brackets that hold it in. So we got to undo these, and that's what clamps it to underneath the bed frame. And then these are for when you're driving around with it open to strap down the top so it doesn't flap around so then you slide these to the end this goes under here like this and then you just tighten it These clamps here are for the trucks that have the the bed rails. Since we don't have bed rails, I don't want to take them off or nothing. I'm just gonna leave them on there like that. I did the same to both sides. So the middle has no attachment points but what we did do is just open it all the way so you could see how it works with this clip here but when it's closed this just folds over like that this just folds over one more time and then it has these swing these swing uh, things here that secure it like that to the frame of the bed here the metal right there just goes like that so looks like it could go a few turns up so I'm gonna climb in here and adjust that She needs more than two turns. One thing I did notice when you're adjusting these on the on the back part here, the screw does come out from the top and it gets caught up on this rail here, so just kind of move it. I don't know if you can see that. You see? Make sure it's down all the way before you set your adjustment. And that's it. That's all you do nice and tight 
That's it. Well, that was it. it wasn't too time consuming and it wasn't too difficult. Uh, hopefully this video helps. The instructions are pretty straightforward. But uh, until you're actually like in there and you see what's going on, uh, it's real easy to figure out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.